Hey Extra TV, how we doing? My name is Kyle Gonzalez and I'm a performance coach at Future. I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy as we navigate through these tough times. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys a couple exercises and tricks that we can use with household items to navigate through our workouts. So, if you're ready, let's get started. All right guys, today I'm gonna to show you a couple combination movements that I've been using with some of my clients to keep things fun while hitting some of the essential movement patterns. So, we have our backpack here. Fill that up with books, heavy objects that you have laying around the house for extra weight. Then we got our plates. This we'll use for sliding movements and stuff like that. Then we're gonna to come to our wine bottles. These will be used for weights, not drinking. First, we're starting off with a couple plyometric warm-up moves to raise that core temperature and get you breaking a sweat. First one is lateral line hops. We wanna make sure we keep a nice pace. After this, I transition into lateral bounds where you wanna just stick that landing and keep it moving. Next, we'll grab those wine bottles as we hit our squat and press. For this, we'll reach our hips back like we're trying to sit back in a chair, keep our chest up and core tight as we press to full extension with those wine bottles. Let's make sure we keep a nice cadence here and get a nice rhythm. I like to also add an ISO in with these squats as we hold at the bottom to add a little extra burn. Next, we're grabbing that backpack for an RDL to upright row. For this, we're working our glutes, hamstrings, and shoulders all in one. This combination movement allows us to work upper body and lower body and raise that heart rate response. Next, we'll be using that backpack to hit rear foot elevated split squats. We're front loading with that backpack. Front loading allows us to work our core and our posture while simultaneously hitting our legs with our split squat. Add an ISO hold at the end to increase that intensity. Grabbing those wine bottles and getting ready for our reverse lunge to curl. For this, we're taking a nice controlled step back letting those hips sink vertically, then finishing the rep with a curl. Another combination move that works our legs, core, arms, and balance. Next, we're gonna finish off with a few killer core moves. We're grabbing those plates as we get ready to set up for plank saws. The plank saw allows us to increase the intensity from a regular plank and really get those abs fired. This anti-extension exercise helps us build stability and protect that low back. Find those wine bottles again as we get ready for our six inch hold with chest press. Press those wine bottles up to full extension while simultaneously keeping that core engaged. To add a little intensity to this one, go one arm and feel those obliques fire. Time for a fan favorite, mountain climbers. Keep that core tight and back flat as you drive those knees up. This finishing move can really push that heart rate up and burn out that core. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you learned a few fun things today. Uh, let's continue to stay safe and healthy during this time. Come check out our website at future.fit. Find the perfect coach for you and let us take care of all your health and wellness needs. See you guys. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.